Hey guys, this matter between Bola Ahmed Tinubu and the presidential candidate of Labour Party, it don't tough. I make don't they try to drag their head come out. They don't take tribunal say they are not aware of Tunubu forfeiture of $460,000 to the U.S. government, Nigerians. This is getting more interesting every day. Let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians electoral body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, has in its answer to a petition filed by Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of Labour Party, against the announcement of Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress as the winner of the 2023 presidential election, said that it was it wasn't aware that Tinubu forfeited money to the U.S. government. Record that Obi had claimed that Tinubu forfeited 460,000 dollars to the u.s government which was proceed of drug trafficking reacting to obese petition via the certified true copy submitted to court INEC argued that it was not aware of the alleged forfeiture in in, in narcotics uh, trafficking una no say really if uh, tunubu actually was involved in all these things you're not supposed to buy for himself, not to talk of to contest as Nigerian president. Now, it be like say I neck don't they say say the matter don't they tough. For for this side now they don't first of all they don't they drag their head. I beg. Make we hear what Nigerians don't they talk concerning this. But before then hear them out again. Nigerians electoral body, the independent national electoral commission as in its answer to a petition filed by Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, against the announcement of Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress as the winner of the 2023 presidential election, said that it wasn't aware that Tinubu forfeited money to the U.S. government. A record that Obi had claimed that Tinubu forfeited $460,000 to the U.S. government which was proceeds of drug trafficking. Reacting to obese petition via the certified true copy submitted to court, INEC argued that it was not aware of the alleged forfeiture in, in narcotics trafficking. And Nigerians have this to say. If Tunubu loses the case in court, then Atiku, who's, who is the second, will become our president. In case you don't know, Peter B can never become Nigerian president. Expression of fear. We already know the antics and we are ready to defend our ma mandate at all levels. We have all it takes to get our mandate from whosoever wants to steal the Nigerian people's mandate. Now that you know, can you stop defending his questionable win with your lawyers and wasteful budget? and allow the tribunal to obtain it, please, please, or there. Is that that's how things work out in the law court? These are reactions by Nigerians. Peter Obi, Igbos are the drug traffickers. So. No to all. Tunubu wasn't convicted for drug trafficking, even if the, the proceeds was transferred into his account and investigated, and they refunded it and wasn't convicted. The case died a natural death. Obi is just a bad loser. Because Igbos are allergic to criminality, that is why we want to nail your your you to, your Tunubu, okay? So that our people will stop pushing drugs and know that drug peddling will ruin their life in future. That is not the issue in court. If you want to make it as Igbos are drug traffickers, no to all. Sue Igbos or Peter will be on that. Hmm. Ignorance is not an excuse in law at all. Bam. Even if Tunubu was convicted in the U.S. after 10 years, Nigerian constitution allows him to contest 
So all this noise is waste of time. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians. We have to be very careful with this Bola Metunubu's uh, drug trafficking case and uh, uh, money forfeited to the U.S. government and all that. If actually this happened, this is not a good news at all for Nigeria. For such a person to become a Nigerian president, this is not the issue of Bola Ahmed Tunbu. No, it's not even about APC. We are talking about Nigeria as a country. It has a very bad omen to Nigeria as a country. Do you know why? You see all these for, um, uh, foreign uh, uh, countries, they will just keep quiet, make all these things they happen like this. Tomorrow, they go use that as a black me, and they go they use them, you know, they collect things because that is the reason why they have been supporting bad, bad things for Nigeria. You understand? All these people now, bad, bad things, you know, whoever see them speak out when things are wrong, you will never hear them talk because they always gain from such, you know, such things. So it's, it's not a bad bola met, you know? That is why I said we Nigerians, we have to be very, very careful with this. We just have to be focused and stop allowing religion and tribalism and uh, uh, to eat us up because that is what is killing us. It's, it's really killing us. It's making us not to be focused. It's making us not to see the real thing. You understand? This is not a good name. I'm not trying to cite anybody here, but if actually that Bola Ahmed Tunubu was involved in drug trafficking, make it be seen at, na, na 50 years ago, it is not a good thing at all. You understand? You can imagine what they will be using to lick us outside there before now, self, how did they treat us? Not to talk of when they go bring the matter, say, Nigerian president was once in drug trafficking. Is that a good name? All these things, when we they see online, in fact, the disgrace have done too much. It don't really too much. I neck not try. If actually this, you know, this thing they know and before now, and they allow Bola Metunubu to pick form, it is really very wrong for them to do such a thing. Now they don't they claim say they don't know. Now they don't know. So what's next? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming out here. Bye for now.